So this video is going to provide details on updating the firmware in your RidgeTech Lookout LTE cellular camera. And so one of the cool new features with this uh, Lookout camera is you have the ability to update your firmware over the air or over the cellular network remotely. And so when a new firmware is available, in your Actions tab, it will pop up with this message stating a new firmware update is available. You'll also notice in the description and, and kind of a warning that uh, if your camera battery level is below 50%, the upgrade will be skipped because we can't avoid losing power during the middle of an update. And so you also want to be aware if you have the camera in hand or um, it's near you, that once an update is started, you don't want to power off the camera or let the, a power disruption occur within the camera or you may corrupt the firmware on the camera. Um, sometimes you can just reinstall the firmware on the camera without any problems. In some rare instances, it may require that the camera come back to our uh, shop uh, where the technician will reinstall the firmware on the camera. Much like your phone and computer, you'll often see that message during an update, that uh, a warning that says do not power off during the update. And so, so you'll see uh, down here, um, this green tab, it'll say firmware update over the air. And so if you click that, what it's going to do is it's gonna queue up an update. So you can see request firmware update. And so the next time this camera connects to the network or it does a heartbeat or takes a picture, whatever happens, it's going to receive this request to update the firmware. And so the camera is going to download the firmware over the cellular network, install that firmware, and then if you have your notifications turned on, you'll receive a notification that says the firmware was successfully installed. And then when you come down and check out your actions history, uh, the status will show completed. Um, if it failed, it would show a, a failed status here as well. Then you can reattempt, or maybe your cellular network is too weak to download the, the firmware update, or maybe your battery life is not strong enough, and so it won't uh, complete it um, in that case. And so I'm also going to show you, I'm just going to cancel this uh, firmware update, and I'll show you, you can also download and install firmware updates manually. So to download the firmware update uh, manually, so we're going to click on the download firmware file here, and it's going to download this image.zip. So in the bottom left-hand corner, this is the Chrome browser, and so it, um, Chrome will often uh, pop up with the, the downloaded file down in the bottom of the browser. Um, depending on what browser you're using, whether it's Firefox or Internet Explorer, or uh, Safari, um, your file, your image.zip is going to download to a different location. So you'll, you'll just have to uh, know that according to the browser you're using. So I'm going to show this uh, folder um, here in, in the browser. And so you can see the image, it's a zipped folder. And now what we need to do is we need to transfer this uh, zip folder to my SD card. So I've already inserted the SD card into the computer. So I have the remo removable disk here, it's in my E drive. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything that is currently on this uh, memory card. So I highlight them, delete those items. So now that everything's deleted on my SD memory card, I'm going to go back to where my uh, image zip folder was downloaded and you can uh, copy, paste, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to drag it and drop it down here into my removable disk E. And so if we go to my removable disk E now, uh, which is my SD card, now I have the image uh, zip file on my SD card. So I'm going to remove the SD card from the computer and we're going to install that on the camera now. So now that we have the SD card in with the image file on the SD card, we're going to turn the camera on and then we're going to push the menu button. We're going to go over to the tools menu and then down to upgrade. We're going to select OK and then yes. 
And now we're just going to wait for the upgrade to complete. Um, it can take anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds to complete the upgrade. The camera is going to reboot a couple times during this process, so just make sure that you don't turn the camera off for any reason and that the batteries are fully charged before this process um, or you have a strong external power source just because we don't want the camera to run out of power during this update. So here it reboots, it's going to update the MCU and then uh, we're going to get uh, another reboot and then the camera is going to check the module, make sure everything's okay with the module uh, it's going to check the SIM card, make sure everything's okay with the SIM card, and then it's going to go for a network connection. So we're, we're connected. Um, the update was successful. If you wanted to confirm the update to make sure that you had the, the newest version, we can go down to the Tools menu, to Camera Information, Firmware Version, and then it will display the firmware version as well as the, the microcontroller version in brackets. And that's everything.